Midterm elections in the U.S. due in November, it seems some have taken a doomsday approach when trying to appeal to voters. Is Caleb Mopin? The upcoming midterm congressional elections are certainly a crucial political event, but there's way more to it than you think, according to Nancy Pelosi, the minority leader on Capitol Hill. Civilization, as we know it today, is at risk in this election. We have to win. We have to win. Civilization at risk. Goodness, that sounds quite serious. Now, she's not the only one to think that the upcoming elections are of existential importance and no less. If you're one of these folks who is watching cable news at your cocktail parties with your friends and you're saying civilization is collapsing and you're nervous and worried, but that is not where you're putting all your time, energy and money, then either you don't actually think civilization is collapsing or you're not pushing yourself hard enough, and I would push harder. The time for diagnosis is over. It is cancer. Midterms are America's last chance at remission. Register to vote. We can beat this disease. Now, filmmaker Michael Moore is urging the liberal rank and file to seize the moment. What are we willing to commit to? What would you give your life for? What would you be willing to, to actually put yourself on the line for? That moment is now. We are going to lose our democracy if we haven't already. We have no choice, my friends. We all have to rise up. So, is the future of human civilization really at risk at the November polling place? We decided to ask people here in New York City. I would say so, yeah. Possibly the fate of American civilization at stake. I think so. How? Um, I don't know. Civilization itself. Well, I don't know. I think that's a little over the top. No, not at all. They were said Kim Jong Un was going to blow up the world a couple—I don't know how many months ago. They're hyperventilating. They do this all the time. Why would Nancy Pelosi say that? Throwing gas on the fire. Now it's hard to tell if ordinary Americans are as fired up as their TV screens and political leaders would like them to be. But let's not forget that the vote is still months away, and the hysteria will probably escalate and pick up steam. Caleb Moppin, RT, New York.